Hello and welcome to the Tinker Cards Video Gallery. Um, what I want to share with you now is just a relatively quick way of making an artist trading card. Basically it's my first so I thought I need to um, maybe record this. So it's got a bird on and then it's going to have a die cut on, a bit of background stamping, some rub-ons and a bit of washi tape. Um, I started off with um, a piece of cardboard and I put some patterned paper on both sides and then I had something which I had for years really and I'm not so sure the paint is properly working still. It's something like that is supposed to give a look of handmade paper and um, so I tried brushing it on it didn't work so I just went over it with my finger and what it did it sort of leaves these little it's got some texture in and I've got photographs of that um, on the blog and um, once it had dried I um, just went over it with a baby wipe and picked up some picked raspberry distress ink and that's basically what I ended up with so it's toned down my background paper which I wanted because it was very very strong in colour and I've also sort of ended up with these nice little bits of textures. So, and um, then how I made the bird here, sort of, I basically embossed the bird from the Trendy Birds 2 sets by Stamplorations onto uh, some pattern paper and did some um, sort of blended, some matching ink around it. And then I just added some, uh, what's it? Uh, I've got it here actually still, some antique gold perlex to it and then heat set it into the um, embossing powder, uh, into the emboss, into the embossing basically. So I've got a little video on that, how I did it. Right, what do I want to do next? I've got my die cut, which incidentally is a new range that uh, Stamploration brings out called Cutploration since it's all about die cutting. Some will match with stamp sets, the other ones will... Um, be standalone ones and I got a couple of um, floral stamps from the birds the, and the bloom set and I got some pigment ink because I think that would stick best to the background here now I don't really want to go that much more in with dye ink but, and I'm just going to stamp a couple of um, of these onto the background and I'm going to do it with my fingers because I want them to be probably partially faded I, think it's that's sort of like the best that's the effect I want to get rather than them being too um, too visible so I want them to be blending into the background a bit so I'll do that here so you get just get a little bit of a sense there and I'll do another one coming down at the top. Maybe I need to ink it up a little bit more to get a bit more out of it. But just what it is. So you got a little bit of something else going on there and then I'm going to do the daffodils. And this is my birthday project for Cherry's birthday which is tomorrow so if you want to pop over to the Stamploration block and say hello it's actually today basically <laughs> because I'm not going to publish it until tomorrow now so if you want to pop over to the Stamploration block um, we've hijacked the inspiration post which goes live at six o'clock pacific daylight time which is about I think two o'clock British summer time so there you go so that's a little bit more I'm just going to add more I just do that for more for texture rather than um, to have them absolutely visible so it just break the background up a little bit more so yeah if you want to pop over and wish Sherry happy birthday um, it's stamplorations.blogspot.com so and it's the inspiration post. So there you go. And shall I just pop another sunflower in the corner here? Just 
probably gone a little bit dry this ink pad I've had it for a while and some some do last and some don't really so there you go that's a little bit more and it just sort of adds a little bit of extra depth to the background I think so I'll leave it at that Luckily it can be cleaned later So next I thought it might be quite nice to have like a little bit of a washi tape going in here. Now what I will do is I will actually stick that down with a dab of glue because it has a habit for me of curling up. So I'm not quite sure how you fare with, with washi tape. I sometimes sort of find that it doesn't stick down for very long really. Now let's tear this actually let's just do that okay I'll get that out of the way it sticks to my finger so I only wanted to go in about here because so it picks up the pink but it also adds something else to it so I don't want it to go all the way uh, across I might put some more on I'll have to just see let's just I tear it off again actually I think that's the best thing to do um, there you go that's that so the bird will sort of sit here somewhere and then the hogs will go up here oops I've got it a little bit too high I meant to put it lower but that's the other good thing if it doesn't stick down that well you can always put it peel it back and reposition it yeah I'll certainly have to add some glue under this in a in a little while so that that's about right now so if I just put a little bit of sticky underneath where I want it just a little bit there it's just to, just to keep it down I found otherwise the edges are curling up too much and that's an absolute shame when you do a project like this and then you end up with curled up edges when you don't want them it's okay if you want them of course but it just depends on what it is that you want at any given time you can sort of squash the, the glue flat anyway so that's not too bad there you go so that's that that's the washi on so I'm just going to put the hooks on let me get my tweezers and my glue back again I know some people uh, sort of cut them out on sticky sheets and stuff. I don't know. It's not me. I am Mrs. Glue. So just need to be careful not to put too much on, really. So there we go. I'm almost done. Right. So let's stick that on here. And I wanted that to go pretty much into the corner. Something like this. Yep. So of course, the sort of instead of what I used is sort of paper slap if you can't get it. You could all, always use watered down em emulsion paint to um light colour of course to alter slightly alter the background of your um of your ATC or your project that you're doing as so if any light colour will take some of the stronger colour away whilst at the same time having the original colour shining through and um or you could use gesso it just depends on really what I got out I suppose so that's that for the moment I'm just keeping on positioning the bird where I want it to go so it will be something like that now I thought next I could do 
the rub-ons. I've had these for a while, so fingers crossed they'll still be working. So I wanted it to be black, I think, to go better with the... Um, That's better visible here. So which no, I think the handwritten one looks nice, sir. So fingers crossed that will come off now when I rub it over. Because I've had mixed success with rub ons. Sometimes they're really, really easy to apply and other times it just won't work. So Fingers crossed. I'm not so sure that this one does the trick. Trying to persevere. If not, it's just going to be added text and I will have to do some stamping really. But I'd hope to be able to um, just use these. Doesn't look like it, does it? Is that because it's too thick or... No, they're not coming off at all. Let's just see. I don't think there is. Nope. They're supposed to come off. But nothing has changed. So uh, I'm going to just try again, but not with that stick here. Let's just try and do something a little bit more heavy duty. Use the reverse because actually the foil that if this is on seems to be really really thick so maybe that's what it is i'm not quite sure as i said I, i've had mixed success with no nope, doesn't work right so that's dead in the water then let's see does the right one work it's the same thickness well, I have used it in the past by the looks of it, but maybe it's too old and it won't stick anymore. I'm not quite sure. Let's just try it one more time. No, this is not going down. I don't think it is. Well, so that will mean that I'll have to get my stamps out now. No. OK, forget rub-ons then. So happy. I need a nice happy. And there was a really good happy in Chevron's and Arrows. Let's go for that. Um, because I don't want it to be too big. I want it to be relatively small. So here we go, that's the happy. And I've got to get some black ink out. Let me get some pigment ink. I hope this is going to work now. Let's get it off, yep. I normally would use um, would of course use a block here, an acrylic block, but because my background is quite uneven, I find I can adapt more to it when I use my fingers. There you go. Oh, it's slightly smudged. Never mind. We'll do a little bit of highlighting around that and um, we can disguise that. So it will have to be probably just happy hooks. I think I get the birthday across the top there and I'll get the, an acrylic block for that out. So. Let's 
just do that. Okay. So that burst is quite good as well. I just hope it's uh, if it's not um, short enough, there are other sets that I can use the burst from. So that's the happy hooks. Let's just see where's the birthday. Actually, what I'll do is I think I'll stamp the birthday on the small strip of card and just pop it across here in black. I think that would be better. So just bear with me. Just got some of the same purpley card that I used for, for uh, doing, um, doing the birds. So let's just use this here as a as an ink block. Is it working? No, it doesn't. I think I need to slightly dampen my birthday. It's they need washing those stamps. Yeah, that's it. So this is another use for one of your um, ink pad lids. Right, let's pop that to one side a little bit. Let's put this down. So I'm hoping that this has worked. Yes, that's it. So all I need to do is just quickly cut this out. And then it can be... I'm not going to be too um, precise. So that can just go over it, I think, and it will make quite a good um, a good sentiment as in birthday hooks. There you go. So just a way of covering up what didn't go quite to plan. So I'm just edging the edges here a little bit with uh, my purple that I used for the stamping earlier. Right, that's that. Glue. So I want to keep it flat because this is going to go in the post. So um, yeah, I don't want to send anything too thick across, and the card itself isn't very thick either. So this is going to be birthday hooks. There you go. That's that. Then the bird can go here. But I'm not going to just yet stick that down because I was going to um, do the edges with use some pigment ink and um, smudge the edges with it which I've sort of slightly distressed before putting down so they're not uh, very straight which was the look that I wanted. And um, then I'm going to use some black embossing powder and I'll try and use some of the Pearl X again with the black embossing powder this time and see if it shows up on that one rather than just a clear one which I tend to use it with. So that's another little experiment here. So let's get the stamps out of the way. So the washi tape goes out of the way. Right. So I'm just going to use the black pigment ink. I was initially going to use clear, but 
it doesn't really matter so all I do is I give it a really good rub on the edges and then I will dab it into black embossing powder so get my ink pad out of the way and here is my black embossing powder which I'm going to Right, I'm quite careful here because it will go onto the happy as well that I sort of previously stamped, but I don't want too much to go on. Let's do this now. I just wanted one side to get a little bit on before I go and do this. go that's it right okay so I've got a little brush somewhere where is it gone I better get it out again because there's a bit too much black here which I'm just going to get off so that's that. Dab it. There you go. So it's always handy when you do some work with embossing powder to have a little brush there. So I'm quickly just heating this now. So my edge is nice black and glossy now, as you can see. So I'll deal with this in a minute and I'm hoping that I'm not going to make an absolute mess now. I'm going to get the um, antique gold because that's the one that I used on the bird, uh, Pearl X powder. And just lightly brush it over the edge. So I'm doing that over the pot so it's a little bit off um, camera because I still got the, the embossing powder there so apologies for that because I don't want the two to mix on my work surface so I should have thought of that sooner but um, well there you go sometimes you don't do these things. right so I've got the pearl X powder on as you can see here so I've just um, just going to give that another blast with the heat tool
right. I'm just going to move this out of the way at the moment. Just that piece of card where I've got everything on. And I'll deal with that in a minute because it's actually taken me longer than I thought it would. So what I need to do, it's sort of slightly bent, so I need to flatten that out again. That's just hot luck. Just brushing it off. And can you see how it's sort of picked up the um, the gold in the black embossing powder? And it just adds a nice um, shimmer and sparkle to it. So you can see it there again. So that's that. Right, and all that is need that I need to do now is get the bird and stick it on. Right. And I'm not quite sure I might just slightly trim it off, but I need to have it have it glued down first. So saying that, I also know I'm not going to put glue on the very tail and the very bit of the twig here. That's quite good when you sort of start putting things down and placing them a little bit. So you also need you also then know where to um, put your adhesive really. So. Here we go. That is that, that just needs to dry now. And I'll probably add a couple of sequins to it just to add a little bit of sparkle and that's the artist trading card done. So it's obviously taken longer than the video itself because there were steps involved before and it's quite a bit of drying time as well. But I hope you enjoyed watching and I shall see you soon. And for those of my um, YouTube uh, followers, if you want to pop over to wish Sherry happy birthday, birthday, pop over to the Stamploration blog. That's stamplorations.blogspot.com and look for the inspiration post that went live on the 5th of um, July and leave a comment there and tell me about it on my blog which is tinkercards.blogspot.co.uk and on the 18th of July when I'm back from a holiday I shall um, do a little draw I got one of the bird stencils that's uh, some birds which I've used quite a bit in projects. It's this stencil here. I got one of those to give away. And for those who've left a comment saying happy birthday to Sherry and told me on my blog about it, I will do a draw and one random winner will get this stencil in the post. Okay, so thank you for watching. And I shall see you soon. Bye.